One of the most neglected subjects in the Bible is the work of the Holy Spirit in the life of the believer. You would think that as important as that subject is, that more people would be talking about it, more people would be referring to the Holy Spirit. But there are millions of people who sit in church week after week after week, year after year, never hear a single sermon dedicated to the Holy Spirit and His work in our life. Now, when you think about the Holy Spirit, somebody says, well, is He some force? Is that some biblical force? No, He's a person. John 14, 16, I, Jesus speaking, will ask the Father, and He will give you another helper, and that He may be with you forever. That is the Spirit of truth. There's all the Trinity right there in those two verses. In the 26th verse, look at that. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I've said to you. So both of these verses give you the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, all three persons of the Trinity. Somebody says, well, do you all believe in three gods? No. There are three persons of the Trinity. There is one Godhead, one God, three persons. The Father does His work, the Son does His work, the Spirit does His work. And the work of the Holy Spirit is a vital part in every single believer's life. And it's tragic that people can go to church and listen to sermons year after year after year and never understand the work of the Spirit and wonder why they fail in their Christian life, why things don't work out, why God doesn't answer their prayer, why they feel so weak, why they're so tempted, why they yield, and on and on and on it goes. And there is a very specific reason for that. Because when you look to see the work of the Holy Spirit and who He is, and that He's a person of the Trinity, and that God has called Him and sent Him into your life and my life for some very, very specific purposes. So we're talking about someone whom the Father has sent into your life and my life because we could not be, nor could we become, nor could we ever accomplish what He has in mind apart from the Holy Spirit. If I were to ask you, what is the Holy Spirit, uh, who He is, that is, what is, what does He mean to you? And for many people, they'd have to say, well, uh, I, I know it's in the Bible because I read the Holy Spirit. Well, is He a person? Yes, He is. The Holy Spirit is as much a person as Jesus because the Scripture, if you'll notice, calls Him He and the Holy Spirit whom. And when you look at the work He does and what He does in your life and my life, He has to be a person. So the Holy Spirit is a vital part of every single believer's life. What does it mean to walk by the Spirit? How, how do we walk by the Spirit? Well, to walk in the Spirit or by the Spirit, either way you want to call it, is to live moment by moment. Now, not today and maybe tomorrow. Moment by moment, what? In dependency upon Him. Sensitive to His voice in our life and in obedience to it. Those three words, dependency, sensitive to Him, and obedience. So if I'm walking in the Spirit, you'll notice that I'm not doing that on Monday and then on Thursday next, and maybe next on Sunday. But how often? Come on, tell me, how often? Moment by moment. That is, every day of our life as a believer, I am to walk aware of the Spirit of God in our life. Something inside us says, don't go that way. Don't head in that direction. Who is that? That's the Holy Spirit. Or have you ever been driving and you going some some particular direction, and all of a sudden you get this strong feeling, took a right right here. Well, where did that come from? Well, there's nobody in the car but you. That's the Spirit of God warning you of what's about to happen, which was a wreck. And God wants you to turn right. Listen, the Spirit of God within you speaks to your spirit. That is with strong implications and strong inclinations. The Spirit of God arouses us to think and to think His way. The Spirit of God is an active person in our spirit giving guidance and direction how we to live because He says, why did He come? To guide us, to lead us, and to empower us, and to reveal to us, and to impart truth and the truth of God's Word to us. And so when I think about this whole idea of, of Him prompting us in the way He prompts us, He does so by strong inclinations. So when He prompts us to do something, how does He do that? He speaks to our conscience and to the, the Spirit within us. Now watch this. The Spirit of God's never going to tell you, 
not to do the right thing. It's always the right thing at the right time in the right way. Listen, the Holy Spirit is under no obligation to explain to me why. Well, why should I turn right here? Why, why shouldn't I turn? Because there's some things you and I can't see, we can't foresee. He's protecting us. And it, listen, it is foolish not to live moment by moment by the Holy Spirit because He's there for our benefit. Almighty God, the Holy Spirit, who is here to enable us, equip us, manage us, guide us, lead us to do anything and everything that it is His will for us to do and to accomplish in life. As a community of believers, we understand the importance of supporting and lifting each other up through difficult times. We would like to extend an invitation to share your challenges and struggles in the comments section, not as a way to reveal your privacy, but as a way to share your testimony and potentially provide encouragement and guidance to others who may be going through the same thing. We are all here to help and support one another on this faith journey. Together, we can lift each other up and find strength in our shared experiences. We are so glad you joined us on our Prosperous Faith channel today. We hope that the video helped to deepen your understanding and strengthen your faith journey. We believe in the power of sharing our stories and lifting each other up. By subscribing to our channel, liking our videos, and leaving comments, you will become a part of our community and have access to a wealth of uplifting and powerful inspirational messages, morning prayers, and biblical insights. And by turning on the notification bell, you'll never miss a chance to grow in your faith with us. Thank you for being a part of our community, and may God bless you always.